Uh, yeah, today we're going to talk about the basic airway maneuvers. Uh, so basic airway maneuvers comes in when the patient is not able to take breaths enough by himself. So first of all, we're going to do an assessment. We're going to make sure it's safe to approach. When we have approached the patient, we're going to make sure, hello sir, how are you? We're going to give some visual uh, uh, stimulus. If the patient responds well enough, if not, then we're going to check for uh, pulse and breathing for 10 seconds. Uh, we're going to check for pulse, feeling for the pulse, and we're going to also look for the uh, breathing and also feel for the breathing efforts. If there is pulse, we're going to make sure we're going to do our airway assessment. We're going to look into inside the mouth, making sure. Uh, we're going to look inside the mouth, making sure there's no uh, fluid or obs obstruction. Uh, if not, if the patient's making any snoring noises such as girl, uh, snoring noises that means there's partial AB obstruction and we're going to do what's called a chin head till chin lift or we can do a jaw thrush if this resolves the added noises that means patient needs AV adjuncts there are two different types of AV adjuncts the nasopharyngeal nasopharyngeal airway or the oropharyngeal airway for the oropharyngeal airway we're going to measure from the tip of the uh, lips up to the uh, angle of the jaw Okay, so this should be enough. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do it um, anti-clockwise. When we insert it in halfway down, when the tip of the and the oropharyngeal touches the hard palate, we're going to twist it round, and so that it fits nicely into the mouth. Once it fits nicely into the mouth, we're going to do an assessment. If the adenoides goes away, uh, then we're going to assist uh, patients with ventilation. Uh, we're going to do back valve mask ventilation, make C around the mouth and E uh, around the jaw and see if there's good uh, ventilation. We're going to give one breath, count till five seconds and then give a second breath. Okay, we're going to carry on till further assessment comes in. There might be indicated reasons when we can't put the oropharyngeal airway in, such as if patients have a trismus or tight mouth opening, then we're going to go for oropharyngeal nasopharyngeal airway. How to measure nasopharyngeal airway? From the tip of the nose to the, uh, I mean, the pinna. Uh, so we're going to measure it till there. It's slightly big. Uh, once we have appropriate size, they normally size 6 for females, size 7 for males. We're going to put some jelly around it. And in the twisting fashion, we're going to insert into the right nostril and then again do the assessment again. If needed, we're going to provide some assistive ventilation. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we can carry on till further help comes in for a definite airway. We can do two hand maneuvers as well. If you've got two people assisting you, you can two people can form a grip around the uh, mask and the other person can provide ventilation okay uh, in the next video we're going to talk about again uh, to do a BLS scenario okay thank you